Okay, hi folks. So this Sunday dinner is going to be a chili big enough to feed an army, pretty much. It's a four four bean chili, a four bean spicy chili um, recipe. And we're going to start by making the um, seasoning that we're going to use in the chili. Um, we're going to use a crock pot. Um, so you're going to want to start this about seven hours before you want to eat. Uh, and the first thing you're going to do is we're going to get some chili powder. And where did I put mine? Yeah, it's right here. The chili powder, you're going to need a lot of it. So make sure that you've got enough. You're going to need a quarter of a cup of chili powder. And that's going to be the base of this. Then, uh, let's see, let's get, start with the white one, the white things, that way we can move on and not have to worry about cross-contamination. Um, we're going to get a teaspoon each of salt and, uh, and sugar, so, salt, sugar, now it doesn't matter what we get on it, okay. Then you're going to get a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and we use very hot, and this is the brand we use. So a teaspoon of that, one teaspoon of paprika, papr paprika. I'll say it right eventually. One teaspoon of oops. Put this over here. One teaspoon of oregano. No. Sorry, not of oregano, of basil. Two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of cumin, and one tablespoon of oregano. Okay, so that is the seasonings, the dry seasonings anyway. Oh, uh, and you can add yeah, about about a teaspoon of pepper also, regular ground black pepper. There you go. Now that's your seasoning for your chili, and you're going to use all of it. So it seems like a lot, but we're making a ton. That's the chili seasoning. Okay, so let's, um, I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to move over to the crock pot and I'll so be back. So, already I have taken um, the two pounds of ground beef and put it into the crock pot. You don't have to cook it because it's going to cook during the se seven hours that it's cooking. So don't worry about that. Then we're going to take um, about, I don't know, um, maybe two or three um, strips of bacon chopped into bits, uh, cooked, crispy, chopped into bits, throw it in there. Then we're going to take, like I said, it's four beans um, in the uh, recipe, but first we're going to start with a, a can of corn that has been drained. We're going to take dark red kidney beans, some great northern beans, red beans, uh, let's see, hot chili beans, do not drain these, put them in sauce and all.
two cans of diced tomatoes. Do not drain them, just everything. Here's the second one. One onion, diced. Two bell peppers, diced. One can of tomato paste, and I don't know how you do yours, but I cut both ends, and then I use it like a plun one end like a plunger. Slide that off. Use one end like a plunger in order to get all the tomato paste out, and then you just slide the other end off the tomato paste as it comes out. And then you need um, a good spoonful of garlic. I don't measure the garlic because our family just likes garlic, so it's very rarely too much garlic, but that's about how much we use. Then you're going to get your seasoning that you just made. Pour that in too. And then you're going to give a couple good shakes of Tabasco. A couple. And you're going to put the lid on. And you're going to start cooking this and um, let it go for a good two hours, then stir it, then let it go for the rest of the time. Um, untouched until it uh, until the timer goes off at seven hours. So I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. Bye. Okay folks, so this is what the chili looks like when it's finished. I hope you uh, give the recipe a try. Um, enjoy. You can put anything on top that you like. Sour cream, cheese, whatever. Fritos. I'll talk to you later. Bye.